Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm also going to be testing out some new products. Um, I have four products that I'm going to be testing out and two of them I bought myself and two of them I have been gifted. I'm excited to see how these products are going to work and I'm ready to get started. We're going to start off with the Flower Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. It's an all-day wear product, and it has an SPF of 18, so this is new. I haven't tested it out before. I saw it on Tati's channel, and I was like, that seems really pretty. looks really good on the skin, so I figured I'd test it out. Right now, I'm currently using the Tarte Hydration Foundation, and I like it, but it has a little bit more of a matte feel. And now that it's transitioning into summer, I thought that I would get something that makes my skin look a little more radiant and glowy. And one of the other new products that I'm going to be testing out is this sponge. It's by the brand Kenzie. When I first put water on it to dampen it, I thought that it felt a little odd. It's squishy, but it still feels hard, so I don't know how well it's going to blend. So I just want to put foundation around my eye area like I always do. And I'm not going to be taking my headband off because, oh, how did I already get that in there? I'm going to be wearing it all day and then when I'm not wearing it, I'm just going to take it off to go tanning and I'll have all my makeup off by then. So I don't feel the need to blend it all the way up to my hairline. I feel like this foundation matches my skin tone pretty well. You can't even tell. I'm gonna put some on my skin. Just a little bit. I might sound like I'm whispering. That's because my voice goes in and out the louder that I talk. So we're just gonna stay right here. All right, so now we're gonna go into eyeshadow and this is the next product that I will be testing out. It is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette, and my friend gave me this a couple months ago, and I've only dabbled in it once, and I only used one shade, which was this one. Ploof, maybe? And it is like a champagne light pink color. I don't really know what all I'm going to be using, but we'll see how it turns out. So I am taking my Morphe N441 brush and I'm going to be using Bestie as my transition color and putting it all over the lid. Now I'm going to take this orange color, it's called Hashtag, and I'm just going to put it right here where the crease of my eye is and then blend it out. It looks pretty orange in person, but on the screen it's not showing up very orange. I also am trying to find a new primer and I'm trying to think of what I was going to order from Ulta. I don't know. If anyone has any recommendations on the primer that they love, please tell me down in the comments. If you hear any odd noises, it is my boyfriend's dog, June. She's in timeout right now because she wouldn't come back inside. And that is her whimpering because she's upset with me. Now I'm going to take this fuchsia color called Wine and Dine. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Probably put it in my outer corners I wish you could see how good these colors look in person they are not even hardly showing up on the monitor all right I'm gonna go back in with hashtag go over that a little bit And then we're going to go back with the M441 
433 brush, dip it into Wine and Dine, and do the same thing to the other eye. I'm going to go back with my M441 brush and go back into Hashtag. I wish you could see the true color of these on camera because they are so much brighter in person. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M506 and put a little bit more of hashtag in there. And now I'm going to go in with, with this brownie points shade, deepen that up a little bit. Oh, also if you hear random rattling noises or just random sounds at all, my boyfriend has a bird and it has been on one today. Now I'm going to go into this cranberry splash shade right here and I'm going to use my finger and put that all over the lid. Now I'm going to go back in with my M433 brush and go back into that Wine and Dine. Just put a little bit more in the corners to deepen it up. And I'm going to go back into the brownie points. Back into the corner to deepen it up. Back in with the hashtag on the M441 brush. Now I'm going to attempt to put the shade right here, so jelly, on the center of my eye, like right there, just to brighten it up a little bit. And this brush, I have no idea. I think it is from Walmart, maybe? But I like to use it to highlight the inner corner of my eye right here, and for little detail things, like what I'm about to do. See how it just brightens it up just a little bit compared to the other eye. These colors blend together so well, almost too well because it doesn't want to show up on my phone, but it's okay. I will try to take the best picture ever so you can see how truly like pretty it is when I'm all finished and then hopefully it shows up on my camera then. If not, then... Now I'm gonna go back in with my M506 brush into the Cranberry Splash and just go around. Just ever so lightly. Now this is usually where I ruin all of my eyeshadow because I've been using a gel eyeliner and I do not like gel eyeliner but I just don't want to buy another eyeliner until this is gone because I don't want to waste it but this this gel eyeliner is in the shade slate and it is by morphe and then I'm also using one of my very old eyeliner applicators and it is from the Maybelline line studio eyeliner it's a liquid eyeliner applicator it's a felt tip and I've been using it with the gel eyeliner to kind of have more precision with it. I've also used other brushes with it and I feel like this is what works best for me and it's still not that great, so bear with me. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting on the Light Illusion Foundation on the rest of my face. Body, 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 body
So now I'm gonna be testing out this flower concealer and it is the L324 light and it's supposed to be full coverage and weightless and creaseless. I'm really picky with my concealers. I haven't bought a concealer in a really long time so I hope that this works for me because I really don't wanna spend like $35 on Tarte Shape Tape. So we'll see. Done. This is light. And this concealer is too light, but I don't know what to do about it. Okay, now I'm gonna take my setting powder and set it under my eyes for a little bit just so it prevents the creasing. Now I'm gonna be taking the hashtag and put it in my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna be putting brownie points under my waterline. Now I'm going to be using this Too Faced palette. It's really old and beat up. I don't even know what it's called, but I'm going in with Satin Sheets, this color right here for my highlighter, and I'm going to use it pretty much everywhere. So there's that. Now I'm going to be using my eyelash curler, and I'm going to be using Smashbox Full Exposure mascara and I'm also going to be using the Maybelline New York the Rocket Volume Express mascara that's also waterproof. I actually don't like either of these mascaras but I can't find a mascara that I like so if you have a mascara that you love leave it in the comments below because I really need a new one. Alright, and now I'm going to contour with my ABH contour kit, and I basically use all three of the bottom. I'm going to be putting my translucent powder under my contour to sharpen it up a little bit, and because I'm really messy with my contour, and this is just, it just works wonders. I'm going back into my Too Faced palette and I'm dipping into both of these blushes right here. And now I'm gonna go back into the Too Faced palette and use Sun Bunny for my bronzer. All right, now I'm gonna go back into this Too Faced palette and I'm gonna use the satin sheets and highlight everywhere. Okay, and now to finish up, I'm gonna use my Lip Sense and this is in the shade Pink Champagne. And I pretty much use this shade in Praline Rose and Giddy Up all the time. They are the main colors that you'll pretty much see me in. And then I'm gonna put Glossy Gloss over it to lock it in. So this is the finished look. I pretty much liked all of the products. I am not the biggest fan of this Kinsey sponge because I feel like it, I don't know. I don't feel like it blends anything. I think that it just kind of soaks up the foundation because that is a lot and I truly did not use a lot of foundation so I don't know. But other than that, I like the flower products and I really like the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette. I think I'll be using that a lot more in the summer because the colors are very springy and summery 
and yeah that's about it all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have any recommendations on any products that you would like to see me use let me know in the comments below if you want to know any more information about the products that i use today you can ask in the comments below and i will reach out to you um i will be fast forwarding a lot of this video because one i am very slow and i'm a perfectionist and i don't want you to be bored with a 40 minute video and two because my friend summer's here so if you see me laughing or making ridiculous faces it's because she is making me laugh and make ridiculous faces <laughs> <laughs> The eyeshadows in the Violet Voss palette um, is a lot more vibrant in person. I don't know why it's not showing up as vibrant as it is in person. It kind of looks like the colors are um, a little muddy together, but they blend very well. This palette is <laughs> really nice and blendable. <laughs> and the tones in it are very warm and neutral and they have pink tones and they have this really pretty orange tone that I use that didn't show up very well which I don't know why because it looks a lot more bright and vibrant in person but I like this palette I think it's awesome that you get this big mirror right here all right so I got ready today so I could go out <laughs> to eat with my friend summer and this is the reason why I had to speed everything up because she made me laugh and <laughs> she made me make stupid faces because she's a great storyteller. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so actually, if you want to see a video with Summer in it, let me know in the comments. We have a couple ideas, but we're not sure what we want to do yet. So we haven't executed that plan, but we're getting there. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm sorry if it's not the best thing ever because I was a little rushed. Um, we kind of decided to go to lunch slash dinner on a whim, but you know, it's fine. Um, if you want to get a notification for the next time that I upload my videos, don't forget to hit the bell. 